welcome myself giridhar jain assistant professor in electronics and telecommunication engineering walchan institute of technology sholapur today i am going to deliver a lecture on uh, dc characteristics of cmos inverter learning outcomes at the end of this session students will be able to draw and describe dc characteristics of cmos inverter contents cmos inverter dc characteristics so what is the dc transfer characteristics of cmos inverter so this is the circuit of cmos inverter so this is a pmos and this is a nmos so gate of two mosfet connected together that is the input and drain of two mosfets are connected together that is the output so this is substrate connected to vdd this substrate of nmos connected to the uh, ground that is vss now objective is to find the variation of output v out for the change in input that is output versus input so vtp and uh, vtn are the threshold voltages of pmos and nmos respectively now these are the uh, equations for cut off non saturation and saturation uh, for the p device that is uh, pmos and this is uh, nmos so mosfet is enhancement type so these are equations for pmos and these are equations for nmos now these equations are uh, required for the analysis of the uh, dc characteristics now in summary for the nmos so when it is in cut off uh, vgs is less than or equal to vt and the drain current is zero the non saturation or linear so ids equal to beta vgs minus vt into vds minus v d square by 2 and the condition is uh, v d s greater than 0 and uh, less than v g s minus v t for saturation the condition is that uh, v d s should be greater than v g s minus v t and v g s minus v t should be greater than 0 so these are the uh, uh, three operating regions of the mosfet cut off linear that is a non saturation and saturation now cmos inverter operation is divided into the five operating modes or regions so first is region a so region a n device is cut off p device is in non saturation or linear and i dsp is equal to minus i d sp and i dsp is zero because here uh, right and therefore v dsp is zero and the v out is equal to v dd so that is uh, region a now for region b the condition is that the input voltage greater than or equal to v tn and it should be less than v dd by 2 that is region b in region b n device is saturated and p device is non saturated that is a resistive region in the saturation region the device will act as a current source so this is equation for idsn in a saturation this is beta n mu epsilon upon tox w upon l for the nmos and for pmos non saturation these are the design equations and this is shown by the resistance so this is vdd this is ground and this is a current source this is output now by using the equation for idsp and idsn given here and then substitute idsp equal to minus idsn 
and solve for v out so we get the equation for v out equal to v in minus v tp plus square root of v in minus v tp square minus 2 in the bracket v in minus v dd by 2 minus v tp bracket close minus beta n by beta p v in minus v tn square so this is equation for v out and uh, uh, that uh, region b is given by this equation region c now region c is the uh, single point and in the region c uh, n device and the p device both are in saturation that's why they are shown by the current source and there is a short circuit from uh, supply to the ground during this region c so idsp and idsn are given by this equation so this is idsp this is idsn by setting uh, beta n is equal to beta p and v t n equal to minus v t p and using idsn equal to minus idsp uh, we can obtain uh, v in is equal to uh, v d d by 2 means uh, for region c the input voltage is given by v d d by 2 so that is a single point so region c right so possible values of the v out are n device and p device and finally v out should be greater than v in minus v t n and less than v in minus uh, v t p now region d now for region d uh, v d uh, v in should be greater than v d d by 2 and it should be less than or equal to v d d plus v t p and the n device uh, works in uh, linear mode and p device in uh, saturation mode so this is equivalent circuit and solving for v out we get this equation for the v out and finally region e when the input voltage is uh, greater than v d d plus v t p that is region e and in the region e we see that the n device operates in linear mode and p device in cutoff and uh, v d uh, s n and v out that is equal to zero means in region e a and region e output voltage here in region a output voltage is uh, v d d and here it is uh, zero now how to obtain the dc characteristics so for that uh, this is the uh, equation now make the pmos uh, wider than the nmos such that beta n is equal to beta p so that you will get the symmetrical characteristics so this is for uh, nmos and this is for the pmos so idsn versus vdsn and this is minus idsp versus minus vdsp now this is uh, current versus v out for v in as a parameter so idsn is uh, taken in the green color and uh, idsp magnitude magnitude of idsp is taken in the blue color now using this load line analysis so we plot idsn and idsp versus v out v out must be where the currents are equal means we know that idsp is equal to minus ids idsn and here we have taken the magnitude of idsp that's why the point at which two currents are equal that is the point of intersection of these two characteristics for the given v in okay so that will be the uh, point of intersection and that point uh, will be the point on uh, dc characteristics so these points some of the points are shown uh, by this uh, red dot which are the point of intersection 
of the NMOS and PMOS characteristics. So, transcribe the points onto the phi in versus phi out plot. So, this is phi out versus phi in, and these are points uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, these points are shown, and after joining this point, we get the curve phi out versus phi in uh, that is the DC characteristics and these are region A, B, C, D and E. So this is the summary of the uh, DC characteristics. So region A to E uh, status of NMOS and PMOS is given into this table. Now pause this video and think on the following question. So what is effect of beta n by beta p on the DC characteristics? So, beta n by beta p is equal to 1 is this line. So, if beta n by beta p is reduced, characteristic is shifted towards the left. And if beta n by beta p is increased, we see that characteristic is shifted towards the right. So, this is effect of beta n by beta p. So, this is the characteristics, DC characteristics, region A, B, C, D and status of NMOS, PMOS shown here. And this is the short circuit current uh, which is flowing. Uh, at uh, region C. Okay? So, this is summary of the uh, CMOS inverter operation. So, region A to E condition, P device, N device status and this is the output. So, these are references. Thank you for watching the video.